Hello everyone, no one in the universe. It's Tasha. No, I'm not trying to become some kind of uh, internet YouTube um, chef or know-how or anything. I am just uh, not at work yet, medical reasons. I should be back. I thought I was going to be back this week, but didn't work out that way. Um, and what I was going to do today was actually start uh, following those seven minute workouts, you know, trying to get back in shape because I recently found out that I've gained 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds. Okay, don't worry about that little uh, rubber brush thing. That's what I buy it for. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is lay out my thinly sliced red potatoes, which was two tiny guys. But look how much potatoes that turned out to be. Look at the potatoes that it gave me. My God, it's a lot. Uh, but anywho, I'm going to just kind of put these in here because they're sliced thin and everything and just kind of get them going. And I'm going to I've come to find out, I thought it was my cookware, but it isn't. This stove needs to be leveled up, maybe a fourth of an inch. So everything's kind of sloping to the front. Okay, but anyway, I put those potatoes in there. Okay, and then at this moment, what are skillet potatoes without onions? Full of green pepper, garlic, okay, and then also, like this guy, this uh, expandable element really, really works with this, okay? So that oil you saw was olive oil and sesame oil, okay? Olive oil and sesame oil, um, lemon pepper. There wasn't any uh, vegetable oil put into this because it's not what I want. Gotta turn it down a little more. Wow. I'm learning things out about my new stove, too, as well. So, learning how to get the temperatures going together. Okay, now I got this going in there. Nice and lovely. I know you see it. Can okay, you smell it? No, you can't. It's delicious. Okay. So, got this in here. Oh, how could I forget about my baby? <gasps> Ooh. Blah, pepper. Okay. So, we got that. And, guys, I know I'm rushing. Um, my spatulas are all in the dishwasher. I don't feel like going over there to the dishwasher because, you know, I've only used it about four times. So I purchased, we purchased this home, and I'm telling you, I'm with a little girl on TV. What does the dishwasher do? Because the dishes are never dry, they're always dripping, and we cycle through all the settings and everything, and everything, and we did that before we were responsible for the water bill. Not trying to be a butt about that, but it's the truth. So what I'm going to do is, because the sizzle is loud, the span is loud, and I also need to go back to my front door to check the city water people who are out fixing something, to which they knocked on the door to tell me that they were turning off the power. And what I was going to be doing instead of doing this was a seven-minute workout video. Probably try to film myself doing that, you know, try to go back to work, stay busy. But that's not how it turned out. Now I'm just in here trying to, I guess, fix me and my son um, something to eat. And my husband will be walking in in about 20 minutes. So this should be enough for him as well. Be right back. Oh, what has that crazy girl gone and done now? She's gone and added some leftover uncooked chopped up pieces of collard greens. Mm -hmm. uh, some lemon pepper and some paprika, a little bit of um, uh, more of olive oil, okay, 
because nothing is supposed to be sticky. It's all supposed to be sauteing. And it is sauteing very beautifully. Oh my God. Okay. So, just wanted to show that. Sprinkle of chicken bouillon, um, black pepper, paprika. Okay. And I'm going to go on to the next step. You hear that popping? Oh, beautiful. Be right back. All right, and here's where uh, that uncooked leftover chop from the other day comes in. It's already pre seasoned from the other day. Just kind of lay that right on into this hot squat. I always try to put the bone next to the rim so it can catch all the temperature and, you know, kind of cook that way. Oh, already that's smelling good. Okay, got the keep. Now, if it's on top of there, it's no big deal. Okay. And also, what's about to happen is the flavors from this meat is going to incorporate itself into the potatoes, into the collards, giving me a more real, well rounded flavor base. Look at me. I'm catching on to this stuff. I'm having fun. I'm singing and all sorts of stuff. I feel like um, Linda off Bob Burgers. How she has to sing everything. Okay. It's a little bit more Carrie uh, Potter. I'm being praised on today with just a touch of something that I normally wouldn't put on some of this stuff the way that I'm putting it on some of this stuff. Okay, guys. Once again, if you don't just kind of let this do a little bit, go check on this water, guys, because I am currently doing this without running water because they're fixing on it. But the good thing about it is I have bottled water so I can, you know, rescue myself. But I think if I need to rescue this dish, I'm going to use a splash of Chardonnay. Hey, yeah, be right back. All right, guys, give you an update. Look at that. Can you see that? Beautiful. I added a little bit more chopped collards because I realized I didn't have enough. Um, then I put in a little small piece of chopped up mushroom in there because why not? I love it. That's my so good. Um, okay, I just wanted to show you guys this update. All right, I'm back. I flipped the chop. Look at that color. Look at it. And, you know, I did these around. Now, I take my cube from the bottom of the skillet. And what's at the bottom here is my collars are starting to really shrink down, really hold in that flavoring. But I don't want them that soft. You know, hey, unless it's some ham hops, smoked turkey, smoked chicken, cornbread, macaroni, cheese. You know what I'm saying? Roast, steak You know what I'm saying? Maybe some riblets. You guys know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Okay, so the bottom of my skillet is telling me, as well as me taste testing, that this is where I want it to be. So, I'm gonna get this stuff on a plate and get the munch. All right. And this is what lunch turned out to be. I think it's gonna be yummy. I'm about to dive in. Thanks for watching.